So we are from Comnaf Technology, uh, the company located in Shanghai. And uh, since uh, 2012, the core uh, business of this uh, company is to design and create their own chipsets and the uh, GNSS board. And they are looking and listening to professional surveyors, skilled surveyors, to very much understand the workflow on the field. And with the advent of GNSS, RTK and IMU, we saw that the surveyors are taking more and more points on the field and less using total stations. So we were questioning about how we could even speeding up the, the work and uh, make uh, eventually a complete survey by using only GNSS and this is what we are introducing serving with uh, Visual Laser RTK and this is the brand new uh, solutions that Comnav Technology introduced here at Intergeo based on the laser and Visual Laser RTK. In 20 22, at Intergeo, they already introduced the Venus, replacing the serving pole with the laser. And the, day, the year after, the Mars, who, who, who were using already the laser uh, distance meter to offset the GNSS coordinates. So the Jupiter has an amazing receiver with uh, 1668 channels with uh, an extraordinary way to fix the ambiguity, can be configured as a basin or rover, use these laser visual measurements, get the super data links using any telecommunications and communication media you, you can expect, tracking more than 60 satellites to already prove for the futures, get uh, visual stakeout as an amazing fixtures, they extend the range of the laser measurements up to 50 meters, and they get also the auto IMU initialization. So this part of initializing uh, GNSS uh, IMU receivers is, is dropped. It's done already that you, once you get the first fix. So this is a, a very nice case where it's uh, obviously impossible to use GNSS in a such very narrow suit. And thanks to the laser measurements, the people can still take points. And uh, to ease the way of uh, using these uh, laser measurements, uh, we use the front camera of the GNSS receivers of the, the Jupiter. The same for very hard to reach point where you just get the laser to offset the coordinate of the GNSS receivers. And even more interesting, for a point located in a very dangerous zone, that's truly the solutions. We have, for instance, in Belgium's company, working along the railway track, that is a, a very, very dangerous area, and they are just uh, very happy to get this possibility. So, the Jupiter visual laser is also bringing something new in sticking out because you can use the laser to stick out the points as well and find your point back so you get the augmented reality using the uh, camera and you can even use this in in a very dark area as I mentioned before, they extend in the range of the laser measurements up to 50 meters. That's remember me the, the time when I was probably younger than today, where we are using the 50 meter steel band to measure. So extending this range is giving you an amazing uh, possibility. And, and you can, of course, improve the accuracy of your estimate by measuring from multiple locations, the same point. And this is uh, obviously the difference. The singular uh, laser R2K, you, you have to look uh, yourself for the laser spot, which is with the laser green, quite bright in the daytime. But the help with the camera is dramatically changing 
the way we are doing serving. So this is Jupiter with uh, these two cameras, the long distance range, and uh, it's proved to increase the efficiency by 30 persons. So this is uh, another, uh, another way where you can see yourself directly from the animations, how the people are going to stake out. So first thing, we are using the front camera of the GNSS receivers to show you where the point is located. And when you arrive at three meters, a distance that you can define in the settings, uh, automatically the Jupiter systems is switching to the bottom camera. And then you can uh, clearly see where the point that you are setting up is located. So, sticking out with the laser is also changing uh, the way we are doing serving because just using the laser spot, your helper can easily uh, put a picket, or paint a point. Uh, it's uh, very much easier than using the uh, the the tip, the pole tip. Uh, the camera has also night vision with the global shutters, giving you uh, an extraordinary way to survey even in the evening or even the night. And you, you can see a difference with a competitive product. Auto IMU is also a very new feature. As you know, when we are using an IMU, an IMU is drifting. And then, um, even if all, all the IMU are calibrated in the factory, uh, still you need to initialize, which means that you have to align the coordinate, the axis of the IMU with your coordinate systems. And that's pretty simple operations, where basically you have to check your pool, your survey pool, uh, it's, it's however very quick, six few seconds to do that. With the new IMU, the version 4.0, you don't even need to do these operations. As soon as you are, as you get the RTK fix, you can get your IMU initialized. And about the super data link, uh, we are uh, using the LoRa UHF, which is giving you a range up to 15 kilometers which is quite interesting because we try in Belgium to figure out a distance of 15 kilometers, but the country is pretty small. The, the, the good thing is that uh, with 15 kilometer range, we, we can work in a really abstracted environment. So the uh, accuracy of such systems is about 2.5 uh, centimeter accuracy at the laser spot. And uh, coming up technology, uh, all the time research a way, you know, to fit with the serving words. <coughs> and this is the reason why they introduced the possibility to do an intersections. So basically, as a multilaterations, you can uh, occupy different points with your GNSS receivers, with the Jupiter, aiming the same point, and then you get a least square adjustment who is providing you the estimate. So 50 meter maximum laser range, centimeter level accuracy, long battery life, uh, integrated battery, 16, 68 channels, able to track more than 60 satellites, you know, the super link, waterproof, and to drop, and I would add something more. Camdev technology all the time amazed me about the design. The design, also the quality uh, they are using to produce their receivers. And if you get the chance to join us on the boot, that is on the old one, a 067 boot, you will realize yourself or that Jupiter GNSS receivers is beautiful. That's something that my wife will not kick out from our living room, you know. <laughs> she complained a lot of the time with all the gears and bits that I am bringing at home. So to conclude, I would say that the Jupiter 
which is part of the universe series of Comnav technology, is heading and bringing a super tools for the surveyors. And Comnav, for Comnav technology, innovation make a difference. Thank you very much.